Hi friends, today we are checking out something that can totally change the way you manage your cloud servers. Imagine being able to control all your cloud servers from one single dashboard and no matter which cloud platform you use. Sounds cool, right? Whether you are using DigitalOcean, AWS or Google Cloud Hosting, managing your server has never been this simple. Think about it, setting up WordPress, setting up websites, managing database and whole lot of things all just with one single click. So stick around as we are exploring CloudStick, a hosting control panel that's about to make your life a whole lot easier. Ready to see how it works? Let's jump in. So first you need to add the server in CloudStick. On your dashboard, you will find this option, I have a server already. Click on it and add the server. Choose the server provider, then type any server name. This name will show up in your cloud stick only. In the list of the servers, then type the server's IP address. When you click add the server, you will see these two options, direct install and manual install. Manual install is recommended and used when you use the SSH keys to log into the servers because in this case you do not have SSH root password. I will do this by using the direct install option because I have the root password with me. So now it takes good 5 to 10 minutes in installing the required CloudStick client, updates and the scripts needed to manage your server from CloudStick dashboard. Once the installation is done, you will see the server details screen that shows up the uptime, CPU, memory and storage details of the server and many more options below. Now we need to add our website in the server. Before we do that, we will integrate my Cloudflare account with CloudSec. Now head back to the dashboard and click on third party integrations. Here you will see Cloudflare, click on add integration, again click on add integration from this pop-up. To add the integration, all we need is the Cloudflare account email and the global secret API key. Get that by going to your Cloudflare account, then go to my profile, then head to the API tokens from the left sidebar menu. Now to reveal the secret API key, type your password and click on view. The API key is revealed. API key is like a password and grants account level access. So do not share it with anyone and protect it like your passwords. Now type any label to identify this Cloudflare account. Input your Cloudflare account's email and then paste the API key in the secret field. Now you can click add API key. All right, we have now added the Cloudflare integration and it didn't take more than a few seconds. Now let's go to the dashboard, choose the server and we can add a website now. Domain or account, whatever you want to name it. Uh, the first thing it asks is the application type. The good thing is that you can even host Node.js app using CloudStick. But for now, we choose WordPress. Type the email address for the application administrator. Give this web application a name. You can suffix anything to identify this letter or change it completely. It's your choice. I suffix SU Techie, which is my domain. Now I choose use my own domain and type the domain in name in the text field. And here comes the interesting part. You can now choose Cloudflare account that we integrated or even add a new one if you want. Let's choose Cloudflare. System user is basically a new user that will be granted all permissions to manage this website and the website files will be inside the home directory of this system user. So I type SU Techie and see the public path is also changed automatically. Choose the PHP version. Next choose the web app stack. Um, the available options are native Nginx and Nginx plus Apache. So you can choose your preferred one. Um, I prefer Nginx plus Apache. 
and here comes the site's WordPress configuration. Simply give it a title, choose the administrator username and admin email. In the database section, you can choose a suffix for the database name and database user for extended security. However, I will leave it and this information will be automatically generated while installation of WordPress. Click on add application and now you have an option to add www to the domain name and add it in the DNS record automatically. When you add www, it will create a CNAME record in the Cloudflare which is totally optional. Let's cancel this and go ahead. So guys, details of the website are presented here very well. The public domain, PHP version, server stack, storage space and all the information is displayed here. At this stage, I also received a welcome email with my new name servers. Now we need to add these name servers to our domain name DNS settings and this is just one time process. I will show you how I added this in my Namecheap account. The welcome email also had SFTP details and WP login details if you may need that in future. Now here I can see the website settings. I can change the website URL right from my cloud stick dashboard and the current SSL or TLS status is also displayed right here. In the next step we are going to install free SSL on this so keep watching. You can also toggle the debug mode on or off and also you can toggle the search indexing feature on and off. This is such an interesting feature right? You can see more information such as total users, active users, total plugins and active plugins right here. Now you can also check the list of users and add WordPress users right from your CloudStick dashboard. So I will show you by adding one the WordPress user to my WordPress install also. Next is plugins. You can see the status of plugins. Enable them or disable the plugins. If there are updates available, you can see an update from here and that too without logging in to your WordPress dashboard. Next, cache settings tab which is accessible only when you turn the cache status to enabled. This cache system is faster than the Redis and Memcache. So you can also configure cache setting from CloudStick dashboard. You can choose memory size, cache size and you can even exclude URLs and cookies from caching. All that right from your CloudStick dashboard. As I said, let's install SSL on this website I just created on the server. Go to manage SSL and then click on deploy SSL. Choose the web app. You can also choose your preferred authorization method. I will choose DNS verification and then choose the Cloudflare account so that it can configure the DNS accordingly if needed and choose access method and click deploy. Within a few seconds, my new free SSL is installed. Let's verify this by opening the website in a new tab. Let's reload this and wow, the site works and I can now log in to my WordPress dashboard using the credentials. Now, one of the most essential parts of any website email management. CloudStick also can create email accounts for the domains. Go to email accounts and it says that server host names are necessary to be able to start email setup. Let's choose a host name. And now we need to add the A record for that particular subdomain. And then deploy SSL. Just a correction, I typed a different domain. Let's change the host name to the correct one and deploy the SSL from here. Now you can see that you have got the SSL 
for your hostname. Go back to your server dashboard, open the website and go to email accounts. From here, we now need to set up email authentication. You can see all the records that are required to set up the authentication. If I choose a Cloudflare account and then click on add DNS records, all the records will be automatically added through the Cloudflare API. So go back to the top of this page and click this create email button. Now we need to create this user. Just type the username and password for this new email account. You can also choose how much space you allot to that email account. Choose a limit or keep it unlimited and then click on create email. To open this email in the web browser, we can install webmail client round cube. To perform round cube installation, choose a subdomain address, for example, webmail and then choose the Cloudflare account where the domain DNS records are managed and then click on install round cube. Now, as we can see that it could not install the SSL for the webmail URL automatically, we can install it from the manage SSL menu. Simply go to manage SSL and then choose the web app. Confirm that it is your webmail URL only and then choose let's encrypt free certificate. Then we can also choose the authorization method. We will choose DNS verification here. Choose the Cloudflare account and then click on deploy SSL. This process doesn't take more than a few seconds and once successful, you can go to email accounts menu and open webmail from here. The email account we created can now be logged in from here. <laughs> Cheers. So we finally have success managing this domain on a cloud server with CloudStake. You can add more domain accounts in this and manage the same way. Also, you can manage all your servers through CloudStake without any hiccups.